hiking into the secret spot. We are not wearing masks because of COVID. It's just to protect the innocent. Don't want to get any of these guys in trouble, so we're, we're going ninja style. Socially distant. <laughs> There's the water. <laughs> There's a rope. It's for when it's wet. Hitting the beach for a couple hours before the shop opens. I'm fun fishing today, so you might be thinking, fishing's always fun, but fun fishing is actually a technical term that we use in the industry for those of us that are on the water guiding a lot and all that kind of stuff. When we're just, uh, just gonna go out and fish like we did before the gig. Just fun fishing today, so we're gonna just fish for maybe an hour and a half, two hours, see if there's any fish around. We know where the fish are at, and we're not there because we figured we should try out a new spot where there might not be fish to find out if they're there. I step out of the water for one second and Michael gets the fish. Look at that. Not bad, not bad at all. Little resident coho. They're here. We'll take it. There, that's loose. There he goes, first fish. Yeah, this is probably impossible to see on the video, but uh, there's a pod of orcas that keep coming up. We heard them and they were making noise, but we didn't we didn't put two and two together, just hear, hearing them breathe. But then uh, we saw one come halfway out of the water. So pretty cool, the stuff you see if you walk out your door. Oh, yeah, he hit that one. Didn't have to wonder about that one, right? No, he snapped it. that I'm using is uh, I have a Sage X 691 nine foot six weight four piece rod with uh, set up with this Nautilus NV uh, G56, love this thing. The line I'm throwing is a Rio Coastal Quick Shooter uh, six weight using a take stripping basket as well, that intermediate line. Uh, when you're on the, on the beach of Puget Sound, we don't have sandy beaches, they're all covered in rocks and barnacles. And so being able to have that line in a stripping basket is gonna prolong the life of it, as well as just make it easy to uh, make a cast. And so today we've hooked a couple zebra and cutthroat trout, but what we've really been hooking are uh, resident coho salmon, so juvenile coho. 
we were fishing for a while until the orcas showed up and then we got distracted by just watching those. I'm assuming some of you are, are just uh, checking out stuff on YouTube and uh, trying to learn a little bit more about beach fishing and fishing Puget Sound. And so I wanted to give you a couple tips and tricks for fishing the beach, uh, especially if you're if you're brand new to it. You know, one of the things that I like to tell people is, uh, is that the beach is new every 20 minutes. And, uh, and with the water dropping, uh, I mean, I, I was standing on a big rock right here and now the and I was fishing and I was knee deep water and you know now it's you know probably an hour later and the water's two feet lower and so you know every 20 minutes I say it's a new beach because it's constantly changing conditions even if you're just standing on a point in one place uh, the current seems going to move uh, it's gonna the water level is gonna be changing. It's gonna be exposing uh, different uh, different structure that the fish use. It's gonna move around bait. And so for us today, uh, trying to catch some resident coho, uh, that's the thing that we've been thinking about is is uh, where's bait gonna get consolidated with the outgoing tide? You know, you, the other part too is if you're on a beach, like walk it, like just walk until you see some fish, uh, whether they're jumping or boiling. Michael's over here fishing, and we were we were kind of just hanging out talking about the orcas, and all of a sudden. Um, all of a sudden the bait just started to go, went flying everywhere and there's obviously something chasing it. Um, so there's probably some fish in, in really close right there. I'm like, dude, go hit that. So, you know, so walk around, walk the beach, look for fish, keep your head on a swivel as, as you're looking. Now, some of you maybe have already experienced this where you're out on the beach and you're dropping your tip on your back cast and, uh, and you're losing a lot of flies or at least damaging quite a few of them and that can get get a little bit pricey when you're um, when you're just starting off so uh, in your cast just make sure that when you're when you're coming in your cast that you're stopping your rod up really high you want to get that tight loop to be able to have a lot of energy and efficiency in your cast so you're not just having a big figure eight uh, big open loops you want to have a really tight loop uh, as that line unrolls so minimize your false casts stop up high uh, try to make your cast in just a few false casts. It, it's going to lower the uh, the risk of that fly over those rocks. Um, and then when you're retrieving the fly, keep your rod tip down, and you can even touch the water with your rod tip. Uh, keep it keep it down. And what that does is that it eliminates that 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 uh, slack line that kind of drapes down. And uh, and not only is your retrieve going to be better, the fly is going to is going to move with better action when you're when you have that rod tip down. But it's going to keep you directly connected to that fly, and then. When, when you get a hit, you're gonna feel it. You're gonna be able to set the hook and get tight to that fish right away. Uh, especially with coho that are so so quick, uh, for a lot of us that have, have done a lot of trout fishing, it takes us a little bit to get used to how fast they attack that fly. And a lot of times they hit it from the side and, and so they just move the fly to the side. They're not pulling from behind. And so you don't really, sometimes you'll see the fly move and not even really feel it, especially at distance. And so rod tip down low, strip a little bit faster than you would think and when you feel a fish like strip and then pull that rod to the side um, you're going to have a better hookup if you do that than if you're lifting up and doing a trout set so uh, i hope a couple of those tips and tricks are helpful for uh, for those of you starting off beach fishing if you have questions uh, you can leave questions down below and um, we'd love to help you uh, get dialed in with fish and puget sound uh, make sure you subscribe to our channel and get all the other updates that we got coming out with more videos thanks